Hi, Superspirus here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 30, and you can see, well, I've been away for a while now, and you can see there's a ton of upgrades I can get, and I feel like these, this is different just because you can see E8 and I'm gaining 720 per second, this is more, this is not like the Time Theorem tree in Antirement, or like the Theory tree here, it's more, it feels more like the Pathogen upgrades. Except you can export and import. So, yeah, you can see, well, there's this, um, which is pretty good. But those pathogen upgrades are stronger, unaffected by soft cap. That seems really good. I can get two of these upgrades. And then Skymarion's boost, purge, power, gain. So, I guess that's good. And then I'm just going to do that. And then Spinors, well, oh. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I was supposed to get any of these, but yeah, I did it all on pions. But what if I, what if I export reset? Can I get the? Yes, I can get the spine or upgrades. Okay, so this is kind of like this is almost reminds me of the light and dark upgrades of the time theorem tree and answer dimensions. Okay, uh, I have no idea which one's better. Actually, it's, it's kind of like the Fermion boosts. Um, the creator was saying not to really focus on this. And, wait, you also lose these permanently. So, mm, that's not a very exciting thing. I guess this one seems pretty good. It's Entropy Gain. And, well, you can see, well, I've reset, unfortunately. But, yeah, 1500 Entropy, which unlocks Auto Entropy Upgrades. And all foam types are gained faster, so yeah, I feel like that is something I want. So I go back here, and yeah, gain percent one percent of elementary particle, Fermion boson gain every second, and it's kept on scammer and reset, so I never need to really worry about that again. And then there's buying theory tree upgrades to does not spend theory points, and the last and flat on effect does not become extremely soft capped, which I don't. Is that good? Yeah, I mean, of course that's good, but how useful exactly is that going to be? Is it just, isn't it just, um, yeah, it's just get, making theory tree better. So if if they don't cost anything, why, why can't I get these? What if I just export and then import... And I still can't afford them, even though the thing says that it does not sp oh it does not spend theory points. That does that doesn't mean I, I that doesn't mean I'm gonna always be able to afford it. And then there's also entry boost sky on gain. So it's by like 1.3 times. So maybe do I just want to re keep resetting for sky That's probably what I want to do. And it's probably not even gonna be hard to do so considering. Everything's automated now, so I just have to wait like five to ten seconds and two more Skyrions every time. And this is gonna help boost the Pion and Spinors, and it will multiply the Quark and Lepton exponents by, yeah, that much. So I'm not exactly sure. I mean, of course, new upgrades. I probably just want to get everything that's like relatively cheap. Cataverse, Cataverse effect is stronger. Skyrions boost Dark Flow, and then there's. Skymion effect is stronger, and boost super symmetric particle gain. I have no idea. What if I just do like one of each? I, I I'm just gonna go balanced at this point because I have no idea what the best um best solution is at this point. Um, could do. I guess I'll just do. Actually, no, it doesn't seem to reset. Uh, this is really confusing me. Um, yeah, this is really, really, really confusing. Like, this does seem to go up when you get... I, I'm, I'm really not sure. I, I have no idea what the formulas for these are. Um, yeah, this is just really confusing. I'm just, I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna get whatever the heck I want to get. That's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So just get these and these and... If I can get these, that'll be nice. 
Yeah, I can get these, and I can get this. So that's... I think that's what I'm going to do for now, and I can gain six Skymarion. So I'm assuming that is probably the right way to go. Let's see if I've actually gotten any more of these entry up upgrades. Yeah, I have. There's Gauge Force Effect. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Either the much better formula. It's, it's probably some early game thing that I completely forgot about. There's Pions. It's actually, it's probably a Fermions and Bo Boson thing. Um, it's not Graviton, it's not W and Z. I, I have no idea. But, anyway, I'm just going to keep gaining these Skymarions. And yeah, there's Pions and Spinors make each other cost. Oh, that's what it is. I got that upgrade without even knowing. And, um, so it's just 75% less. Okay. I think I understand it. I also unlock auto theoretical boosters. Theoretical boosters give many more theory points, but theoretical boosters are reset on Skyman reset. Okay. And as primary string effect is raised to the power of five. Um, the perk accelerator never gets weakened or broken. And the hadron effects interval is smaller based on your hadrons. And then the first in flaton effect uses a better formula, and pions and spinors do not make each other increase in cost. And you can buy max pion and spinor fields. Okay then. Wh whatever. I'm I'm just gonna keep getting these these upgrades. As you can see, it's it's pretty easy to gain six. At this point, I'm not exactly sure what the most optimal I should be going for. Um, okay, it seems like six is probably the best option at this point. And, I mean, it does... I mean, this is faster than before, but it isn't all that significantly faster. I mean, you can see I'm closer to unlocking multiverse at this point. Um, like, I'm 24%. And I feel I feel like that's relatively powerful, or not powerful, but like I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Still not really sure what to do with you know the pions and spinors. But I, I think whatever I have right now is probably fine. And um I think that I don't really need to focus on the quantum foam stuff at this point. So everything is, you know, going, and I can just keep gaining six at a time for who knows how long, because that this is what this entire game has become, just clicking this button when it gets to six. Actually, not quite, because when I do this, I unlock new Pion and Spinor upgrades. There's ranks boost, Pion and Spinor gain. And derivative boosts are stronger based on their amount. So I, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm just going to keep getting one of these. And, okay, yeah, this one was really good because it boosted by 1,000 times. I expected it to be like a 50% boost. There's elementary particles boost, pan, and spinal gain. Yep, I, I knew it was going to be OP. Whatever, whatever it was, I knew it was going to be OP. And then there's omega particles stronger based on their amount. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna inflate at this point. Just, just go get everything I can because these up, because the Zeta upgrades are so OP. I don't know why these Zeta upgrades are so OP, but they are. So, and, and I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, 23 Skyrons. I'm probably like actually, if I go to Entropy, I'm probably close to the next. Or at least closer. I'm up to 8,000. All I need is 11,111 to get to... It's actually, now I'm over 9,000. But I'm not quite there yet. I guess I'm just going to keep getting Skymarions. Because that still seems like the probably the best thing to do. And I think 20 is good at this point. Um, I guess I, I'm just going to keep getting these upgrades, whatever, whatever I can. Um, the Z this one is t E24, and the, the Pion one is also E24, so they're kind of out of reach at this point. And this, wh when do we give the next upgrade? 750 Skyrions. Ooh, okay. 
That's kind. I'm not sure. That's quite in. I mean, I know it's a within reach, and it's not that many resets. Um, I mean, let's see how how much entropy I can even get because I I was over nine thousand before, but like yeah, I can see I'm up, I'm up to get up to like ninety seven hundred. So if I can just get to eleven thousand one hundred and eleven, that that will do me wonders. I think I'm gonna assume it's gonna do me wonders. I, I guess while while I'm waiting, we can look here. Thirty six percent to multiverse. <laughs> okay, I mean we're we're definitely getting somewhere. I I think the best thing is just to try to get around twenty five skymarans. That seems around up. That seems like the most optimal at this point. Around twenty five at a time, and. Maybe maybe I'll check at like 400 to 500 Skyrim to see if I can get the... No, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this upgrade because... I mean, even though I, I'm gaining more, like far more than ever before, it would still be a considerable weight to go all the way up to that much. I'm not sure if that is going to be is going to happen before the 750 Skyrim thing. I can get these upgrades now, so um, I have no idea which one I want. I'm just gonna pick this one just because this is a really high exponent and this is just a percentage boost to the cadaver effect, which is just oh, well I get uh, they're they're probably equal. It probably doesn't matter really which one I get. And besides, I can just get this one like now, and I feel like this is gonna allow me to get a few more skymarians. At the very least, I'm just gonna again see like, with these upgrades. Maybe I can get more. Uh, not really. Still better just to get Skymrions rather than going for the next up upgrade. Even though even though it's kept on Skymrion reset. So, okay, now I'm just a couple hundred within. Um, yeah, just a couple hundred within 750 Skyrim rounds. This is the next upgrade, and I feel like that those are gonna be. I, I wonder if there's gonna be anything like the Zeta upgrades, because the Zeta ones are stupidly overpowered compared to all the others. I mean, I, I mean, I guess they're useless without all the others, but I feel like Zeta and like one of the upgrades. Could possibly be more powerful than just all the upgrades. Okay, maybe not that much, but like Zeta and two of the upgrades may be better. I can get this as well. So, um, yep, yeah, that's all. Rank tier scalings are starting later. Let's let's actually see. Rank twelve, seventeen, tier thirty-five. Okay, then. So now I just need twenty-eight more Skymrions to get the next upgrades, and. Here we go, boom, there it is. So it's Theta and Iota upgrades. This one is all Spinor upgrades are cheaper and all Pion upgrades are cheaper. So I, I think the Spinor Zeta upgrade is slightly better than the um, than the Pion one. But I'm still gonna get you know this as well because it will definitely help just to get as much as I can. Unfortunately, those two made these ones too expensive. Well, anyway, um, I guess I just keep getting Skymrions. Um, yeah, this is 5e22 if I want the Zeta upgrades. And I get two Zeta, I get them like right after each other. Um, and I'm getting less entropy than before. Yeah, I got this. So. Um, yay, I guess. I don't know why I'm, I'm slower than before. And of course, there's the out upgrades. The entropy effect is raised to an exponent, and then the time doesn't exist effect is raised to an exponent. So this is, yeah, they're just multiplying. I'm just going to do whatever number here is bigger. 3e5 versus, like, 3e3. So the entropy effect is stronger. That's why I will pick that one.
And yeah, I feel like I made the right choice because I'm now up to um, 10, 11,500. I'm pretty close to, I'm pretty, I'm almost tantalizingly close to this upgrade. Even though I don't think that's the most powerful upgrade of all time, it still seems decent. Even though this upgrade is not kept on Skyrim Reset, I'm still going for it just because I'm only like 100 um, entropy away. So it's definitely possible to get. And also, it's just, I'm also waiting for, you know, the 5e22. Um, actually, which one? That's the Pion upgrade. And this is, yes, this is definitely the better option here. Okay, I'm just 20 away. 15 away, 10 away, and boom, and instant effect, but not the most powerful one, except I can get 104 Skymreons, so that, that that's pretty cool, and the next upgrade is a 2500 Skymreons, so I'm not really sure what I should be going for, I'm, I'm going to look here, yeah, this doesn't look very good, it's again... Only around 30 Skymreons. And I, th I think this would be this is a good point to end the episode because there's just not all that much I can do at this point. I think ne next episode, hopefully, just more of these upgrades. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.